god. This is the best man in the whole world. That's true. <laughs> best woman in the whole world. <laughs> no, I don't care. Hey guys. So today we went to work. Actually, usually work drags on, but today it actually went by pretty fast. So yeah, we had, it wasn't like a bad day, I guess. Show my new case. Okay, Luis got a new phone case. It came all the way from China. <laughs> okay, he, where did, when did you order it? Like a month ago. He ordered it like a month ago and like, he was like, oh, like my case is supposed to be here. It was free shipping. Here. It was like a dollar. It's one of these, um, what do you call it, like a wallet case. It's black, faux leather. What kind of phone do you have? A Galaxy Note 2. So then it has like two cards or three cards, whatever he's got there. And then his phone, which... And, and, and the money here. You've got money in there too? Where did you get money from? Ella gave it to me. Oh, fake money? It's, it's not, not fake. fake. Okay, it's... What's it called? Thailandian money. Thai? Thai money. <laughs> Anyways, so I was telling him because his aunt had ordered a bunch of these cases, not this exact one, but they were like pink and like leopard print and stuff. And um, she ordered a bunch of them. And then he was like, oh, I want one of those cases. <laughs> but I was telling him that like only girls use these cases. I don't think I know any men who use these wallet cases. I don't know. Do you guys like that? It kind of makes it huge. It looks like a little mini notebook. Mm hmm. Open it up. You want to be all cool with your buddies? You <laughs> all cool you with get your, your buddies? Pen. Be like, okay, let me look at my agenda. Okay, well, that's your mini review for that case. But I have an iPhone, okay? What is this? A logo, right? Okay, I use this case. It's like an a logo case, it's a snap case. And it doesn't have any bumper right here. Just in case you drop it, it doesn't have that. Actually, it might have a little one. I don't know. But I drop my phone all the time. Do I drop my phone all the time? I drop it all the time. I drop it in water. I drop it on the floor, out of the car, on concrete. I step on it sometimes. Like, I drop it all the time. And I've never had any other case except for this Alago one. I've had other cases, but they're all like these snap kind. We're due for upgrades like in February, actually Valentine's Day of next year, we're due for upgrades. And um, I bet you I can last this phone. This phone will last till then. He's had to replace his phone. And this time I have not had to replace it at all. You just got lucky. You know, maybe I did, because every single time something goes wrong, it stops working, even though now, like, you I can see... You just got lucky that you can say that, because I never break my phones. Never. He doesn't. But, now I'm starting to see that it's really slow, like, it's slowing down, and, like, the internet hasn't been working that much, and, um, sometimes it'll freeze on me. It doesn't bother me too much, just because I'm really close to getting a new phone, even though, I don't know, I kind of feel like February's close. Just because I've had it for at least a year now. I want to make a bet with you. Okay. We're going to call Verizon right now. Mm -hmm. And we're going to ask when we're due for upgrades. Okay. Because you say it's two years. It but is. I, it, no, it's not. You want to bet? Because yeah. I looked it up this morning. Yeah. Online. I want to look up. I it wanna, says February 14th. I want to make a bet. Okay. Well, you want to call right now? Yeah. Okay. Go You're going to call. You want me to call? Yeah. Okay. We're betting $5. Okay. Well, my battery is about to die, so hold on. You guys, I got Luis his phone for Valentine's Day last year, and like, I got him the white one because he said he wanted the white one. And then he was like, "Oh, I like the gray one better." Then he was all complaining about it, like, "Oh, I thought we were gonna switch to Verizon." Oh, this, this did this huge scavenger hunt for him, and I worked pretty hard on it. Okay. I sent him all around to like these places to pick up an index card that had another clue on it. And he didn't like that either. He was like, this is so annoying. <laughs> I thought it was fun. Okay, it was exciting and it was fun. And he was like, I hated it. But little does he know, I love scavenger hunts. Is yours? Yes. Okay, and do you do upgrades any earlier than that? 
Uh, let me see. Sometimes there are promotions that will allow you to upgrade. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, if you want to do the Edge program, you might be you be able to upgrade early. Um, and then the other line on the account, when is that one due for an upgrade? Let me check here. The same date as yours. If you're trying to upgrade to the S5 or an iPhone, you would have to wait till the day of. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. I hang up on her. He did. See? Whatever, Verizon yeah. sucks. Mm-hmm. Verizon sucks. I, kn- I knew exactly, because I take care of that account. Yeah, but like, that's why Verizon sucks, because I... Okay, I can't even begin to tell you no, 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 all no. the things that I lost whenever I switched from AT&T. Okay, to tell Verizon. me, what did you lose? Go ahead. Unlimited internet? Uh-huh. That's like the number okay, one. Okay, go ahead. What else? What else? What else did you lose? Upgrades every year. You did not get upgrades. I got upgrades every year. No, you did not. People that has Verizon, people that have AT&T will tell you that you get an upgrade. People with AT&T, do you get upgrades every single year? Do you? Or is it a two-year contract? That's so stupid that it's like they give you an upgrade in order to extend your contract instead of Oh, you have yeah, you have to wait till the contract's over so you can get an upgrade. That's stupid. Okay, I've had Verizon my whole life, except for the one little time that I had T Mobile and like the year that I had AT and T and it's always been like that. I was right. Tell me I was right. Tell me, tell me, tell me. You see how you act? (laughs) You can tell that you're not right a lot. Rude. See what David says. Shots fired. Uh, my mom says that. David says that. He's so Where rude to me. I don't write so much. I don't know. Okay, well, we know who got that right. All right, well. Um, so you're not right a lot. Hey! You're the one who's not right a lot. Why don't you tell everybody how you say Netherlands? Netherlands. He says Netherlands. It's called Holland. And then we looked it up online, and they said Netherlands. And he was like, that's what I'm saying. And I'm like, no. Holland. Yeah, whatever. Holland. Okay, well, I'm going to end this so that I can edit it and get it up. So thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Wait, you're going to get it up? Get what up? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, you're going to have to cut that out. You don't want people to make fun of you. Why? I follow a lot of vloggers, and... Um, I kind of want to see if you're more on like the entertainment side or if you're more on making videos for yourself. Like what's more important? Do you think that um, putting up videos online for entertainment purposes only is like the most important thing? Or do you think that one day you're going to look back and you're going to...